sometimes I think he I think he works for the uh, Chamber of Commerce for Cancun so. and <laughs> Acapulco <laughs> and Cozumel. <laughs> Spurs continue to take a lot of heat today for their first round draft pick. Yeah, Rick Lozano went down to talk to Angelo Drosos, and Angelo just kind of threw up his hands and said, hey, give us a break. I'll show you that in just a minute. And we'll talk about what's going on over at the Coliseum because it's really starting to look like they're heading over there. And they're even starting to make some tentative plans for a pretty ritzy little establishment up there in the stands. Come on, folks, keep an open mind. That's about what Spurs president Angelo Drosos asked fans in the wake of yesterday's NBA draft. The Spurs have been taking just a ton of heat from media and from paying customers for going for Al Frederick Hughes of Loyola. And today, Drosos reacted to his critics. Why look at the negative until he proves to be a dud? And I don't think that's fair to the player or the franchise. I've got to admit, I've heard a lot of bad things said about Al Frederick Hughes in the last couple of days. but. To be honest, I've heard a couple of things I really like, too. First, they say he's a decent defensive player, and Lord knows the Spurs could use all of that they can get. Second, they say he'll work his tail off and play hard for you every second. That's really good news, considering there were games last year when you couldn't tell the difference between the Spurs and a rerun of Night of the Living Dead. So, okay, Angelo, I'll take your advice. I'll keep an open mind on Al Frederick the Great Hughes, at least until Al Frederick proves there's nothing that great about him. Also on the subject of the Spurs, looks like a deal to move to uh, Freeman Coliseum from the Hemisphere Arena the next season is getting closer and closer. Coliseum officials have been quoted as saying negotiations are going very well. Drosso seems convinced enough that he's had some plans drawn up for a pretty razzle-dazzle club in the Coliseum itself. It would go in the area above the main entrance. There'd be a restaurant there, uh, about 1,000 fancy box seats. The whole thing would cost about $4.5 million to build with the Spurs picking up about $3 million of that tab. Of course, what would they name it? Cotton Club, maybe? Hmm? That, of course, one of the many renovations that would take place if the Spurs do make the move to the Coliseum in 86-87. Okay, let's check the best from tonight's baseball action just in from our exclusive baseball news satellite. In New York, they were swinging from the trees to see if the Cubs would lose their seventh straight, and Dwight Gooden was there to see that they did. Gooden fans, Thad Bosley here to end the game. Nine strikeouts for Dwight Gooden as the Mets beat the Cubs. Check this now from the Pittsburgh-Montreal game. Sometimes a pitcher hates being sent to the showers. Just look at Joe Hesketh of the Expos. Just can't figure it out. Why'd they do that? Blooper of the night in the Detroit-Boston game. Wade Boggs and Rich Gedman of the Red Sox play. I got it, I got it. No, you take it with a Kirk Gibson pop-up. Oops. Now to Chicago where the A's Dave Kingman just unloads. Look at this homer by King Kong against the White Sox tonight. Then his next time up, he crushes another one. This one is his 16th of the season. Two home runs and six RBIs tonight for Kingman. And let's check the scoreboard. We'll go to the National League first. Houston beats Atlanta. That's the final. San Francisco over Cincinnati this afternoon. New York beats Chicago, as I mentioned just a moment ago. Montreal over Pittsburgh, 4-3. to three, And Philadelphia shuts out St. Louis, 1-0. In the American League, Texas leads Seattle in the ninth. Detroit has beaten Boston 9-3. It was Toronto over Milwaukee 5-1. Cleveland beats California 2-0 on a three-hitter by Burt Blylevin. New York over Baltimore 10-0. Oakland leads Chicago. That's now in the top of the eighth. And Kansas City sneaks by Minnesota 3-2. Texas League, the Dodgers are off tonight. They'll open up a series with El Paso in El Paso tomorrow. And that's the start of the second half of the season in the Texas League. Quickly, there are reports that two NBA teams will have new coaches in the very near future, probably tomorrow. New Jersey supposedly is going to get Raleigh Massimino of Villanova. Seattle will get Washington assistant Bernie Bickerstaff. L.A. Clippers reportedly in hot pursuit of uh, Boston forward Cedric Maxwell. They're talking to him. If he turns out to be healthy enough to play, you might see something worked out there between the Clippers and Boston. And um, don't be surprised. Don't be too surprised if you hear some talk in the next few days about Mark Olberting returning to the Spurs. It is now under discussion. Nothing I can give you too many details about. But it's a strong possibility. And if you're a rodeo fan, you've got some good rodeo, some bull riding coming up this Saturday night at the Hemisphere Arena. And I'm, t I'm tempted to make some wisecracks here about this. <laughs> no, I'm going to be nice. But the bull riding is the uh, George Paul world's best bull riding coming up Saturday night. That starts at 8 o'clock, and they're going to have an Eddie Raven. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a concert or he's going to appear. He's going to sing a couple of songs there afterwards. No bull. So. No bull on that. That's for sure. Eddie Raven's going to be there. Okay? I couldn't say that on my first night back, but you <laughs> could. 